people of God. How's everybody doing out there on today? I hope all is well with you. I know. You know I know. And I hate to keep bringing it up every time I come on here. But I am going to say that God is good. Amen. And he's keeping us throughout this whole little ordeal. All we can do is just keep trusting him. Amen. And take it one day at a time, people. I hope you all are resting out there. This is a time for you to be resting. Just enjoy your family. And stay in the house, please, people. Stay in the house, please. We can't stress that enough. If you don't have to go out, don't go. I understand sometimes we need to run to the store. If that be the case, go ahead. I say that because I see the virus getting real aggressive, you know. It's so much that's going on. I don't even want to speak on a lot, you know, that I've seen and heard because it just breaks my heart and my spirit, you know, and here I am. I'm just crying out to God, you know, on your behalf, my behalf, you know, that God would keep us covered. Amen. Amen. And whatever you do, keep your sanity, people. Please. Yes. Pray. Build up your faith level while you're waiting. Stay connected to channels that are helping you build up your faith. Stay in the word of the Lord, whatever it's going to take. Amen. And face reality. Face it, what's going on, because a lot of people, they don't face things head on or what's going on around them. Some people just tune it out. We must have compassion for other people because it's some people, you know, it has hit their loved ones. And these people are hurting y'all that they are not able to bury their loved ones. They are not able to go and sit beside their beds, you know, when they're in the hospital and everything. That is so heartbreaking to me. And I seen a young lady, she was talking to the news people. She was not allowed to go and see her mother. So we must have compassion and keep praying for each other. Amen. Glory to God. At this, at this time, we have to stick together. And we are going to get through this, people. We are going to get through this. But we must stick, stick together and keep praying. Keep bombarding heaven. Amen. Glory to God. We are going to make it through. People of God, we know that we are living in perilous times. We are living in the end times right now. And the enemy knows that he has a short time to do what he's going to do. So don't be afraid of what's going on around you. You just stay in the Bible. You keep seeking God with all that you have. You stay connected to him no matter what it's looking like. There's going to be so many things that's going to take place, but God is saying for you to think on certain things and keep your thought pattern on him. He said, he that keep his mind on me, he'll do what he will keep you in perfect peace. So we must keep our mind stayed up on the Lord, people. Keep your mind stayed up on him, no matter what it looks like. And sometimes we have to turn that media away. We have to get away from it. Get what you're going to get out of it and turn it off. Move around to something else, people. Because looking at all this media stuff, it's, it's just a little bit too much for me. But when I began to go in prayer, the Lord told me, he said, for us to keep our minds stayed on him. And we already know that we have to take this word and we have to meditate on it. Amen. Amen. And he gave me Philippians 4 and 8. But I'm going to back back up to verse 6. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, should keep your hearts and your mind through Christ Jesus. Verse 8 says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are a good report, if there be any virtue and if it be any praise, it says, think on these things. Amen. So in other words, Paul was teaching the people not to worry. He said, when you, when you feel like, you know, anxiety is kicking in or whatever, he said, go pray, go pray. And verse seven is telling us that the peace of God, which passes all of our understanding, that it's going to keep our hearts and our minds, people. 
Amen. Glory to God. And he said for us to think on these things. Every little bit that I just said, he said, think on those things. Occupy your mind with those things, people. Amen. Glory to God. That you may obtain the peace. We're trying to obtain peace in the midst of this storm that we are in right now. We want the peace of God. Amen. It's nothing like the peace of God deep down inside of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So think on those things, people. Amen. The word of the Lord say rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. We're going to count it all joy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Keep your mind stayed on the Lord, people. Because we know if the enemy gets your mind, he got you. But the devil is a liar on today. We come against all of his tactics and his scheme right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I hope that I've said something, you know, that would help someone out there. Glory to God. The word encourages us. We need to hear a faith word right now. Glory to God. Something to build us up. Amen. You all know that I love you with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs>